guys, that's Dorota Paliska, international new artist and educator here, and I'm in with Olivia. Hello. <laughs> uh, she did this news to herself uh, some time ago, and some of them have been overfiled when she was doing clients, and uh, yeah, we are going to tidy them up, so just wrap in. First thing, I need to clip off those uh, flowers, and actually I never clipped them off before, so I am Tell quite curious. Hands. It's fine, I will use those ones. So I'm quite curious how they are going to come off. I used a lot of base gel. Did you? Yeah. Obviously they are her natural nails, so I have to be careful clipping them off to don't pull the product off from the natural nail. Oh gosh, I'm scared. Mm, sorry. <laughs> this is the joys when you're doing your daughter nails. And normally I never do her, her nails. Oh no. Okay, I'm just going to take an e-file and mm -hmm. e-file them. Do you want to try and do the thumbs? The thumbs might be easier because they're a singular one. See, I'm scared to leave the product off. You know what I mean? Would you like me to try myself? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wouldn't be scared on the extensions because I wouldn't pull the product off, but uh, oh, from the natural, gel, yeah, this is, is just a much softer product. I mean, it's still good and strong, like for our clients, they but love by it. by comparison, mm -hmm. it's not as... This was the first time I've ever put anything on my nails. The... Really? Yes. I think. Tell me if you feel sore. It's fine. They're actually staying on really well, those flowers. Mm -hmm. Mine are still on as well. Same stock with the base gel. This one is lifting, so I'm scared. Yeah, that's that's my right hand, which I did with my left. So oh. I accidentally had it. Um, Flood a little. See, that's the fiber gone. Mm. Yay! Okay, let's file them so that the hard task is done. <laughs> that was probably the hardest task to do. And then we are going to file the design Olivia created away and any lifting. And I expect lots of lifting because she says she have done them in a rush and... With my non-dominant hand. So that's the worst hand? Yes. Okay. That's the one I can't file properly because my left, uh, yeah, my left hand's really weak. You will get there. Another yeah. hundred cents. <laughs> so I know I've got lifting in the corner here. So because I'm filing on the speed uh, 12,000, um, I don't want to go too close to that area yet, especially that the fiber is a gel which is apply like really thinly uh, on top of the natural nails so we definitely don't want to cause any trauma to the natural nail I'm glad she actually got pretty nice natural nails um, the nail beds aren't uh, even like 100% so I will have to kind of shorten them and that's so pretty color as well it's 160 69, 69. Of, uh, one layer ah okay ah okay yes, one oh layer on top of fading from this. Yeah, you can see underneath there. Gosh, your farm! It's so long. It's so long, yeah. Okay, those flowers are very easy to file. Which <laughs> makes me happy. That's a lifting. And what are you going for today? Something... To match the dress? Yes, 
something a bit floral, something for a festival. I'm not too fussy. Just don't want it to be too plain. Okay. No plain, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can change the settings to go much lower. But at the same time, I don't, I don't want to overheat it. There we are, that's it cut out. Yeah, and the rest I'm going to leave for the hand file. There's a wheel lifting here as well. Uh, just so I don't damage the natural nails. What shape would you like? Squabble? Something around the lines of squabble. But can we make them shorter so they're kind yes, of more even? Okay, I'm just filing any um, loose product. And she guys got so, so soft skin, <laughs> like so gentle. That's my cuticle work is going to be extremely minimal, like really minimal. Um, I wouldn't want to overdo it. I actually forgot to do my cuticles last time I did the set. Such a See, I'm scared even to file it. It's so like. They're durable. They're soft, but they're durable. Because I end up accidentally filing my own skin when I'm trying to file that hand. Okay. And they're fine. Like I I'm never scared that they're gonna bleed or anything. There's just not much there. <laughs> okay, we've got one filed. Let's do another one. <laughs> this one is so long, Neil, but. And because we are going to put the color over them. Um, I need to really make this nail down to zero almost, so it's kind of equals the other nails, like the length is equal. Obviously I don't want to use the full power of filing because I'm doing Olivia's nails. <laughs> We should record on the other hand, not on this one. Yeah. Oh, so much filing. So, as you can see, it, guys, I'm jumping from nil to nil because there is uh, quite a lot of uh, lifting in there. And I need to remove this right down to the natural nil. And if you file too long in one place, you would produce uh, lots of heat. To be honest, this video should be called like how to remove the fiber gel. <laughs> That's a nice shape. So I'm filing very gently at the corner to don't lose this corner because this nail is missing quite a lot in that side um, and I also don't want to take them as much down. Going to have baby nails again. Yeah, but it's better to have them a little bit yeah. shorter and more, more even. How are we gonna call this video? Mommy is fixing my nails. <laughs> but yeah, she did a nice job on my toes, so I thought I'm gonna treat her. And since the year time, I have done your nails once. Uh, once, but I didn't file them. <laughs> I yeah. didn't finish them. You didn't finish them. Yeah, I just... Uh, you put the fiber gel on and then I had to file them like the next day, which was actually like 
the next week because I had no time. <laughs> yeah. And the farm, wow, look at this land. But no, I think they they needed to yes. come down. Couldn't play guitar anymore. She quit the guitar to be able to do the nails. I haven't quit guitar. No, you didn't. No. I didn't hear you playing for a long time. I don't play as much. Because I'm too busy. But um, I still play. Dad has heard me play. Mm. Again, I have filed a lot, so I'm jumping to another nail to don't produce the heat. I could pop, like file it more with the e-file, uh, but obviously I didn't expect them to lift as much. Um, so push back the cuticles. Then cuticle beat. And as I say, I'm going to be very gentle here. That's the one that gets um, some hard skin from the ink mm -hmm. and just everything. <laughs> okay, so I'm filing one side first. Put back into the reverse. And then file the other side. Oh, Olivia, maybe we will ask the ladies. They will know maybe what is this dots. Maybe. Maybe, guys. She've got like a wee dot in there, and this door have been always there. And on the other hand, she've got another one. I put one here on my. Oh, right here there, as well, right like a red dot. One on my red pinky. dot, and then on the pinky here as well. And then another one that's faded here. Ah, okay. <laughs> If you guys know what those red dots are, just let us know in the comments. Actually, I've got two on this hand. Okay, after this part is done, we can trim them. There is nothing to trim. <laughs> No, I wouldn't like trim your cuticles. Oh my god! No, I don't touch them. See, I don't like, and I think that's a good thing because you don't touch them; they don't overgrow. So I, I definitely don't want to remove too much. I don't want your body to to get the message like, "Oh, there is so trauma done into that place. We need to heal. Rebuild we need it. to rebuild it and produce more." Um, like, keep that, guys, in mind. If you do remove. Um, too much, it will kind of grow even more. So Olivia hardly gets her cuticles done and I think that's why they are quite nice, I would say. That one's the only bad one, all the, all the rest are fine. Okay, once this part is done, we can go all over the um, nails and inspect them for any more shiny places and just scratch them. I actually quite like the set you had it. I really liked it as well. It's really nice. So I'm filing this corner a little bit more and I will try to touch it up with the product um, to fill this gap up. Otherwise we will lose so much land and I really don't want that. So that's a stain. Uh, it might be... The hair dye? No, it'll be gel polish I used today. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Or stain. I'm not sure. It wasn't hair dye. I've not used any. Okay. That's a nail lifting. Oh, is it? Yeah. And then the gel got stuck underneath. Now I'm getting to the danger stage. I have done so many movements of the file that uh, I can produce the heat. Imagine you are in a winter time and your hands get really cold. What you do, you kind of go like this to warm them up and that's what is happening. Um, we produce like a kind of heat, um, fraction heat. Uh, so keep that guys always in mind and jump from nil to, to nil. Oh, that's a gel polish gone. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to dehydrate them. So dehydrate them nice. From underneath as well, because this is a natural nail and we need to be really well uh, prepared the free edge and we need to cap those free edge really properly so the product doesn't leak from the free edge. What else I like to do with, um, when I'm working with the natural nails, after I have finished, like there might be some wee bits and pieces of the fluff or dust underneath, just touch it up, guys, uh, with the file, uh, just so you don't have uh, those kind of particles. Now, I'm going to use the nail prep, so that's an extra nail prep. It's a nail dehydrator as well. <coughs> And now I'm going to use two products. Guys, Silk Pink. This is a product which is unbelievable. Like, imagine you've got your worst client ever. Like, no matter what you have did on them, uh, the, the, none of the product lasts on them. This one will. And it's funny because they are a few different fiber gel colors. And I think this one, because it's so see-through, it adhere to the natural nails extremely well uh, and I'm going to use this one Olivia is showing me with the finger what you wanted to show you wanted to say I don't want this one I wanted that no I was gonna say I thought you were about to start applying and I was gonna say what about the air bond because <laughs> <laughs> that's the one that's the fiber gel I normally use oh, oh okay yes I had some leftover of the pink one oh, okay because I just kept growing it out but that's the one I normally use now yeah, silk pink, absolutely amazing, guys. Like it's it's just lasts so well on the on the most problematic nails. Cap the free edge. Cap the free edge. So first of all, I'm applying like a thin layer, almost like a base gel, and then I will build up a little bit of structure straight away. And this nail, I'm going to fill up this corner in the air, like kind of try to add into it. It might look bulky to start with, but once we file it, we will have those extra, um, extra millimeter of the length. And now we can cook it. Okay, now that's them cured, so I can apply a product on the other nails. Add into this corner. <clears throat> mm. I actually quite like working with the fiber gel because uh, it gives a really nice natural results. Mm -hmm. Cure it. And then once we cure it, we can shape them. Okay, that's the hand cure, so I can start filing, remove the inhibition layer. And let's shape it. I've got a few ideas in my head, Olivia. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just... Um, Tell everyone how to shape it first. <laughs> so I'm filing one side. Other side. Kind of make sure it's nice and straight. I 
and then even it out. Blend around the cuticle area. And that's the first nail shaped. I hope guys you are going to enjoy this video as well because few of you have requested like um, some videos with the shorter nails. So I'm hope you are going to enjoy this video. So again, blend around the cuticle area. This one is actually quite nice shape, so I don't need to file it a lot. Blend this side. Unfortunately, I still got quite a bit missing in that corner. But I'm just going to make it a little bit taper and that's it. Because uh, I don't want to uh, shorten the natural needle too much. And obviously we didn't want to do the extensions either. Because Olivia is quite happy with her natural needles. Look at this, I'm also filing the sides in case if there is any mm, product, but also you want to have it nice and smooth in there. You don't want to have any catchy places because mm, um, that's where your clients would pick at it um, or that's where you will have some trouble going on later on with the product. Okay, the ideas I have is, so one is just a plain white and a couple of those cherry blossom flowers. Or we could do the Aurora and then <laughs> and then on all of them mm -hmm. and then some sherry blossom flowers on two of them but in a kind of way like the flowers would be more in this window and this window mm -hmm. and then maybe we caviar beads or something in there uh, which one would you like? I like the idea of the first one, but I'm gonna let you decide. I'm oh gonna no! <laughs> now the first one will match the dress completely, mm -hmm. if that's what you want. Or the other one will kind of still go with the dress, but be more fancy. I know you are not fancy. Then Aurora is gonna change. Aurora, which one is that? That's the one you did on my toes. This one. <laughs> okay, just wipe them. Because the dress is white. Yeah, well, it's like a off white. Off white. Yeah. So not quite cream, but not quite white. Okay, after I have buffed with the uh, white buffer, I can use the gray buffer and just smooth everything out. Anyway, they are going to be white, so I need to prep them quite well because the white are always the most tricky colors to paint. So I'll have to make sure like they are quite nicely filed, there is no bumps and jumps. So that's me filing a little bit, um, obviously I'm exfoliating a little bit of the skin in there. <laughs> This is actually a great tip guys for you if, uh, obviously don't go like this. Oh sorry. Oh no, I'm oh, sorry. No I didn't but it was close. I just wanted to show to what to don't do. Don't <laughs> go this way. 
Yes, but it was it. so close. Was so, so you cannot go guys like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, I meant to not touch the skin. Mm. Um, what I'm doing is like I'm kind of carving the, um, the buffer like this and then I can file the skin and nothing is gonna happen I'm not going to cut it okay keep that in mind um because um yeah it might be a matter of like oh but she was filing the skin so it's depending what angle you're filing like even now look how I'm filing I'm filing it brushing it down so I can file on those fold then going here I'm filing like this okay there is a sponge so this side uh, this is safe to touch this doesn't file is this edge which files so this edge has to be in there and then cuticle has to uh, be touched more by the sponge kind of thing okay and then going into the other side look how i'm twisting it like this like almost brushing away and this is the same stuff when it comes to <gasps> can i demonstrate something with olivia then i think so i don't know what you're doing um because guys, you have asked me this question like many, many times. So this is my sponge, which I'm using for a beautiful ombre. That's a nice ombre combination in a salon. And guys, you've got clean side, dirty side, clean side. So when you're doing it on the client, you are not touching a skin with the dirty side. Look, like this side is clean. So I can just go like this and then go like that. So you can go really closed. Same here, this side is clean, so it's okay to touch it, okay? You can go like this. Obviously, this one doesn't have a product in. Um, it's just me using it for some previous ombre. Um, it doesn't have any product in there on the top. But I can actually show you. So on the top, it doesn't have a product. That's why I can touch it. Um, for this size of the nail, obviously the colors are not going to work out as an ombre because uh, the yellow is right down on the bottom. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a kind of an idea how I'm working on the clients, okay? So you've got clean edge and it's okay. Clean edge and it's okay. But if I would go like this, obviously I'm doing all over her nail folds and we don't want that. <laughs> Thank you, Olivia, for letting me use your finger. It's okay. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's them all filed. I might do a final cuticle check and just touch them up and then we can paint them nice white color with some flowers. Yay! But just before I start painting them, I'm going to clean them with the blue scrub to remove any dust particles. So are we going to match the dress? I think so. I think so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just see the picture of the dress, please? Just one more. Like the dress or just the pattern? Yeah, the, the pattern. Okay, Up thanks. Pictures. I don't know which one you prefer. Thank you. So we're going to use 173. The doors? The doors are squeaking. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> it's almost like a ghost. I was gonna say it sounds like snoring. They look nice and white already, even mm. in the one coat. And to be honest, I prefer them now because before you had all sort of different lengths. Yes. And I know they are They're short. I know they are shorter. But see, your ring finger is unbelievable long. I know. The nail bit. Mm -hmm. I really like it because it's like 
really long, but it's really skinny. Mm -hmm. Slim. Slim, yeah. So it looks really nice. My pinky ring and thumb Cook it in. are kind of like that and I really like it. We are going to use um, some foil for a one stroke and the paints I will be using. So I've got here some, that's the pattern uh, of the dress which Oliva is going to wear. Um, so it's kind of like a sherry uh, flower. So I'm going to use the pink. Um, so a drop of the pink. And I'm going to use some magenta. Actually, I never painted with those two colors together. I think they will look lovely. Oh, I like the magenta. You like the magenta? <laughs> I really like it, yeah. And the touch of the green. For the leaves slash stems. <laughs> see, there's some yellow in there. Can you see it? Yeah. Yay. That's like the middle of the... It's like my cherry blossoms and my cherry tree. Uh-huh. Like Let's the one use at home. the yellow. As a ye yellow center. Uh-huh. I take the hand so I can paint the second coat. <laughs> my hands are so weak I can't even pull your hand like it have been a really long day so I'm really tired got still some messages guys <laughs> to answer from you and we put the new video today but I, I had no time to even look at the comments yet um, I will check them out Probably on my day off. Tomorrow again is such a busy day, like nine till nine probably. <laughs> it's actually funny because I have did similar set to the other lady to match the dress. Do you remember yeah. that was it last week? Yeah, last week was for Emma. Emma, Emma yeah. yeah, yeah. That, uh, I think that was last week. Well, what, today's Monday, so it has to be last week. Perfect. Cook it in. Okay, so my paints are ready. And the other hand, uh, I have just started buffing it. Thanks, Olivia. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to give it a couple more scratches to it. Um, and then we can paint the flower flowers. Hi, cameraman! Hi. <laughs> Would you like the flowers on all of them? Mm. Don't be shy! <laughs> um, I don't mind. You don't mind? Uh, See, they are kind of all over, so we will yes. do it random, like on some places a little yeah. bit and on some others. We are using the Demaster uh, brush and I'm just going to pick those uh, light, uh, the pink, and then magenta on the other hand, mix it a little bit and then let's start painting those flowers. No, I shouldn't be doing that because they've got some steam. We are stems. going... What we've got? Stems. We've got stems. It's like the little branches thing. Yeah. Yeah, stems. So we are going to use those green. Very watery. And then... Just paint a couple of those... Of those something. Stems. Stems, branches. Not too sure. It's one of the two. Stem branch. I want them to be very washed off. Like I'm not sure even if the camera can catch it. Um, we don't want them too strong. And then she painted the strongest one. Totally random, like on the dress. Perfect. I take the other hand so I can quickly top coat it. Yeah, yeah, give it the other hand. You don't have to cook I that know. in. <laughs> so 
Why have you put it in? Gives me a place to put my hand. Okay. It's out the way. Won't get dust on it. We don't file anymore. Oh, we do. I need to also keep checking the battery, guys, because it's quite low. And we painted two coats only uh, of the um, white. Probably for a long application, because I'm fussy, I would do it three coats, but for painting, it's okay, change. Can you get that on for me, please? Please. Just grab it from me so I don't accidentally touch things. Okay, and then I, I'm going to the first pick, so that's the white and um, the other stuff. And now we are going to paint those flowers. Can you put your hand upside down? Is that okay? Thanks, that's perfect. See what I love about this brush? Basically, with the touches of the of the stroke you can paint some flowers brilliant thank you so what i'm doing is i'm just touching it i'm not even doing one stroke to be honest They look like this. This is such a fun actually design. Hmm. Yeah, basically what I, I have just picked up the paint like uh, pink and magenta in the other corner and I'm just touching. Totally random touches. Of the brush. Is that okay, Olivia? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have to just like wear gloves and protect them until the festival. <laughs> when is the festival? It's Saturday, but I'm leaving on Thursday. <laughs> ah, okay, you might take the other hand. Thursday evening. So you've got a couple days to protect them. Yeah. See, I'm quite impressed how my French looks after so many weeks, guys. It is actually unbelievable because we was away for Patrick's birthday. And that was three weeks ago. Yeah, so my nails are over three weeks. The ones I had were three weeks <laughs> before. I'm just really bad for accidentally filing them while working on the client. I do the same. Okay, so very little branch. You don't have to hide this hand. Where do you want me to put it? Just keep it anywhere. I'm just repeating the movements from the other hand. Again, very random. And very washed off green. Obviously, once we start painting, things never look pretty. It's the detail which finish it off. You have 
have to trust the process. Mm -hmm. Are you trusting the process? Yes. You do? Okay. Cool. Reminds me of watercolors. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. It is kind of a bit because my paint is much more watery uh, than for the one stroke. And I not even mix those paint like guys. I'm just really richly randoming randomly tapping on the <laughs> on the nail. Okay, so they are also some flying ones. So let's do the flying ones. Like the petals. Yeah. Yeah, I can see they are kind of a wee petals there as well. This would be quite a nice set for spring. Yeah, totally. Can you take your other hand? See, actually, this is the part which I enjoy the most, to be honest. What else they've got? They've got some leaves. So we are going to do the leaves like um, I touched my brush with yellow and then I've got some green. Again, very washed off like, so the colors aren't too strong. And then we are going to paint some leaves. You don't want to put too many of them, just some places. Oh, that's so cute. The leaves. It's just the whole design as it all. It's not finished yet. It no. can be cute yet. Yes, it can. Yeah, but it looks a bit like a watercolor. Okay, now pick up the the D liner brush and we are going to make them a bit prettier. So inside the flowers, I want to have some darker spots as well. So I pick up those magenta color, and we are just going to do a little bit darker places. Again, very watery paint. You know, just so those flowers don't fly as much, I kind of want to join them into the branches. Hey, you're right, it's a little bit like a watercolor, totally. Mm. 
Can you get the phone on? Switches off every five minutes. <gasps> so long. Oh my goodness. I better hurry up because my battery will be gone. Okay, then we go for yellow. <laughs> then we go for yellow. And I'm just doing literally a couple of the dots in there. Not on all of them. Just on some. Mainly on the ones which looks like they are kind of open. And then on the ones which looks like a bats, we don't want to put those yellow dots. And then they actually match the dress quite well. They really do. So I've got green and yellow on my brush. And this cannot fly on its own, so I'm just joining that in. I'm just really finishing it off now. No, adding those little, little branches. Not branches, leaves. Stop it. She starts to yawn. <laughs> oh gosh, Olivia. <laughs> it's been a long day. I know it is really late and we still stuck in here. I take the other hand. Oh, you look so nice with the dress. It's really matching the dress, like. Mm -hmm. And the last touch is there. And you know what? Once we put the top coat, the design will even pop out more. Mm -hmm. So that's the dress, guys. Again, I'm going to quickly show you. And that's what we have painted on the nails. We are going to top them. <laughs> what are we going to do? You're going to top them off of that UV something <laughs> <You'll be sad. laughs> UV. guys you know, please forgive out. us we are so tired like honestly it have been so long day i just forgot the name of the actual gel. block the uv block the uv no wipe top gel just so it doesn't turn yellow especially because it's a white that we used thank you olivia you're welcome i messed up as well <laughs> can you see the difference when they top coat it I think so. My, my view isn't the best here. My view either. I'm blind now. <laughs> At this time of the day, I am blind, guys. Especially when I'm on my periods, like uh, my sight. Is it sight, you say? Inside? Sight? Sight, yeah. I'm getting um, migraines. Effects. No, not sight effects. Vision. Sight. Sight. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Sight. Okay. Anyway, my vision <laughs> is getting worse uh, when I'm on my period or just before the... I love this one, actually, the middle finger. I don't mm -hmm. know why. No, I, I like them all. Anyway, 
we hope you have really enjoyed this uh, video another one together um and you have learned something new as well but honestly guys if you if you if you're doing your own natural needles the fiber i love fam as well uh the fiber and the bottle it's really awesome product um uh, this gel is fantastic for a natural needles i definitely much prefer it they look cute honestly mm. they do really look cute we are sending you huge glittery hacks no, I'm going to show you quickly this hand. My battery didn't die yet, but just in case, I'm sending you glittery hacks if it does cut us out. Oh, this one, cook it in. <gasps> Hope it didn't smudge. Well, I didn't touch them. Okay. I cannot clean them because the top coat needs to cool down. Was it fully cured? This 60 one. seconds, yeah? Or no? I Ish. Didn't, I didn't pay enough attention. Yeah, put your hand properly in. It isn't. The problem isn't. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, that's almost how they looked. Where is my cuticle oil? Yeah. And now we can show the other hand as well. Again, both together. Can I check it? This one is not cooked, just don't touch yeah. it. Yeah, so that's how they look, both together. Glittery hex and bye for now. Mm.